As a leader in the field of prosthetics, the Department of Veterans Affairs is supporting the development of a new, highly advanced device, one that promises to improve the lives of veterans who've lost one or both legs. Meshing man with machine, this remarkable robotic limb is breaking new barriers in the field of prosthetics. Following a motorcycle accident in 1990, Navy veteran John Crouch endured a series of 19 surgeries before opting for amputation. Talking with the orthopedic doctors, they were very open to um, doing the amputation for me because they felt that I would have a better quality of life. They were right. John has been using a standard prosthetic device for years. We're going to do a static fitting right now. Need you to take your prosthesis off. But today, he's being fitted with a far more advanced device called the power foot. Put your weight down into it. And the, the pressure back here, do you feel any, any pressure at all? Oh, it feels good. The weight feels like it's distributed even. It feels perfect. I was told that it would help take a lot of the stress right, off the rest of the good part of my leg and it would uh, allow me to do more than I was doing now. The power foot is a revolutionary development for veterans like John. It's the first robotic lower leg system to replace the function of lost muscle, resulting in reduced stress on the rest of the body. The difference in the power foot is it's actually going to generate power. So that's something that a, a prosthetic foot hasn't done before. Okay, so we're going to put all these, these reflective markers all over your body. Using a technique called gait analysis, technicians can assess the efficiency of movement for patients wearing the device. Okay, John, whenever you're ready, go right ahead. Amputees report that uh, when they walk, they're not in as much pain. I'm going to have you do the same thing, nice slow pace again. They can walk faster. They will walk with less energy or with each step. So they won't be as tired at the end of the day. Today with the biome technology, amputees can go across all kinds of terrains, up and down hills, across steps, across rocky paths. They can walk, they can run. Uh, it's very, very versatile. No one knows that better than Dr. Herr himself, who lost both legs in a mountain climbing accident some 30 years ago. At that time, I set out on a life mission to improve artificial limbs, to improve technology, not only for myself, but for everyone. Michael Welsh, a Marine Corps veteran who has also lost his leg in a motorcycle accident, is learning how to fine-tune his power foot. You can wirelessly program how stiff the biome ankle is, how much power is delivered with each step, the timing of that power. So how does it feel now? Beautiful. And it's working well. Considering the number of Iraq and Afghanistan veterans who've been injured by roadside bombs, the development of this power foot device offers the potential to significantly improve the quality of their lives. For additional details about VA prosthetic services available to eligible veterans, go to www.prosthetics.va.gov.